on the last episode. A lot of you guys were making fun of me because I had no diamonds and I was basically poor in my hardcore world. Well, I took that personally. And in today's video, I will be mining as many diamonds as I possibly can to prove all of you guys wrong. And let's just say I did end up getting a lot of diamonds. This is my favorite episode I made so far. So if you guys like it as well, please drop a like on the video and please subscribe if you guys are new. This is going to be an insane hardcore series. You don't want to miss it. Hey guys, I think the main goal for this episode is to go resource hunting, especially for some diamonds. Because I was reading your comments in my last video and you guys were making fun of me because I'm basically poor. I only have 22 diamonds and I don't have diamond armor. It's the fifth episode. That's kind of sad. And the armor I am wearing is basically broken. Oh my God. I don't even have shoes. I'm walking on my bare feet. So yeah, that is the main goal. I'm gonna go mining for a lot of diamonds so I can prove everybody in the comments wrong. And where do all my food go? I'm a peasant. I don't have any food. Hello? Oh, there we go. I have potatoes. Oh, wait. How do I only have 46 potatoes? I have this giant potato farm and only have 46 baked potatoes. I am a disappointment. I built this giant potato farm just to only have 46 potatoes to eat. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go grab some potatoes. I don't know why I said that's so weird, potatoes. And let's go smelt these up. Because you guys already know I'm finishing all of these potatoes by the end of this episode. I eat so much. But anyways, I think I'm going to go on the hunt for some sugar cane and some cows to get some leather because I want to make it an enchantment table to enchant my pickaxe so mining will be a lot faster but before i do that i should probably uh replace my armor here <laughs> okay let's actually use my diamonds so let's make a chest plate let's make some pants oh let's go we got achievement and bam and i'm gonna save these diamonds just in case and i'll finish off my armor set with some iron just because uh i'm not that rich yet i'll get there soon by the end of this episode and let's throw this into the ocean pollute the ocean no i'm just kidding don't do that well on my last hardcore episode last week i built this crane right here and found my four blue Axolotls. Yes. And I fixed up the ceiling so they're not like cramming to the top trying to escape. And they're actually swimming around looking awesome. I'm pretty impressed with this crane. And I also built this giant dock here to surround my house here. And now I actually have a walkway across uh, my house area, which is really nice. But I'm going to go on the hunt for some sugar cane right now. The sun is going down though. And the sunset's looking pretty beautiful. Like, uh, like you guys, you guys are just as beautiful as that sunset. I cannot say that for myself. I'm a solid one out of 10. And let's go to sleep. Sleep my pain away. All right. Rise and shine. Let's go find some sugar cane. Cane. Actually, do I have any sugar cane in my chest? Oh, I do. Okay, let's plant these and then go find some more sugar cane. Because I'm gonna need a lot of sugar cane and a lot of leather to make some books in order to make a full level 30 enchantment table. Wow, that was actually perfect to fill up this entire line. And let's go hunt for some sugar cane. Oh, look at this area. That's kind of cool. There's a hole in the mountain with like a water stream coming down. I guess so distracted. It's literally Minecraft blocks, and I'm amazed. What is wrong with me? Oh my god, the lava just burnt down this forest. All right, but I've been running for a little bit and I cannot find any more sugar cane. Well, maybe because I'm in like a winter bottom that kind of makes sense what my brain is not working man when, when does it ever work my brain is just a small peanut oh i do have a cow though yeah, yeah. only one piece of leather <gasps> yeah two pieces of leather oh wait that's not a cow oh here's your uh, brother back oh i think i killed his parent i am so sorry i'm sorry he's chasing me what the heck is this i've never seen something generate like this before just a hole in the ground there's no cave system it's just flat that is weird oh there's a swamp biome over there oh sugar cane I'm just killing my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, man. Everybody in the comments is probably like, why are you killing the cows? That's your girlfriend. Okay, where, where did that piece of sugar cane go? I literally saw it. Hello? Oh, jackpot. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, my God. There's a lot over there. Oh, my God. I'm actually a child. Steal this precious uh, resource from the earth. Uh, that's what you get for eating my grass. Nom, 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 nom. I'm so hyper today. Uh, like, I'm tired. I only got four hours of sleep, but I'm still hyper. You know when you guys are getting zero sleep, but you guys still kind of have energy? That's what I feel right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did not take any fall damage right there. I'm hacking. Oh my god, the sugar cane everywhere. I hit jackpot. Where did I go? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Snatch that. How the? <laughs> oh, hello? This sugar cane is growing inside a tree. Is it worth it going all the way over there to get that sugar cane? Nah, it's not. I'm running away. <laughs> you thought? Of course I'm gonna get that sugar cane. What do you mean? And let's go over here to grab that one. But yeah, with all the sugar cane, I'm gonna plant down and get some paper so I can start making some bookshelves for an enchantment table. I'm not that advanced yet. I don't have any enchantments or a full set of diamond armor. So this episode is mainly focused on getting more wealthy. So like a full set of diamond armor, a full set of diamond tools, some good enchantments. And, yeah. and once I have all that, you guys can't make fun of me in the comments anymore for being poor, all right? What's up, guys? Just a quick break. I'm not sure if you guys missed it or not, but I dropped my brand new merch collection on my cookie store. I have awesome hoodies, t-shirts, phone cases, mugs, and even a notebook. So go check it out with the link below. Thank you guys so much and let's go right back to the video. What is that, Mount Everest over there? Oh my god, why is that mountain so fat? 
There's horses. Oh, I don't have saddles. Oh, what's up, donkey? What's up? Uh, slap that ass. Whoa. What, what is this world? What the heck? What the? Oh, that dolphin just jumped out of nowhere. I've never seen birch trees grow this tall. These are birch trees on steroids. What the heck? Have you guys seen biomes like this? These tall looking birch trees that like look like those tall spruce trees, but birch. Whoa, look at that. That looks like a secret entrance into like Narnia. What kind of biome is this? I've never seen this before. This must be new, right? Or maybe I'm just a noob at Minecraft. Wow, these are long. These are some long schlongs right there. What biome am I in? It's called a river. Nice. I'm in a tall birch forest. Oh, I didn't even know that was a biome. I said Mount Everest was over there. Look at that. Oh my god. What is that doing here? That looks like a spaceship from aliens. Okay, that looks it looks nothing like a spaceship from aliens. All right, but anyways, I think I have enough sugarcane to plant down and it'll just like duplicate anyways. So I do see a lot of cows here, a lot of girlfriends. So <laughs> Oh my god, there's a lot of cows everywhere. Holy cow. <laughs> See what I did there, holy cow? Because there's a lot of cow. Okay, I should just shut up. Uh, uh, ow. Who just shot me? Where's my shield? Oh, my. Oh, there's my shield. Oh, don't hide from me. Oh, I swear I saw a cow right here. Go away. Oh, there's two. Go, 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 go. I do not like the nighttime. This is not good. But I'm going to stay focused and kill all these cows still. Hello, sir. Oh, my God. You have a baby by yourself? Oh, I just killed your father. Sorry, I got to leave you, brother. Stay safe out there. Oh, what? I just saw three skeletons spawn in front of me. Oh, my God. Is this even fair? Uh, creepy, 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 creepy. Go, 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 go. I thought I was going to say like 40, but I only have 23 leather. I thought I was going to have like 45 or something. So that probably isn't enough to make a book, is it? No, it definitely is enough to make one book, one singular book. Yeah, but like enough to make a level 30 enchantment table. I don't think so. I'm so tired, guys. Are you guys tired too? Chill vibes only. But right now, I'm wearing my cookie hoodie. Uh, he's coming for me. But anyways, right now, I'm wearing my cookie hoodie, the brown one with the uh the cookie text over it and it's so comfy right now i'm gonna hide in here though i'm gonna take a photo for you guys i'll slap it on the screen bam right there but it's so comfy but i'm actually gonna wait till the sun rises and the night's gone so i'm gonna go grab a snack like usual be, 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 be right back all right i am back it better be daytime oh it is nice oh it's in the middle of the day i was gone for a little too long but if someone could guess what i just ate i'll uh, heart your comments i'll go search around the comments for a little bit so if you guessed it i'll heart your comment and reply to you but uh, what was i doing oh I, I was getting steak right oh yeah i was i literally just ate like two pieces of steak from last night oh a goat what's here up brother <gasps> what, what, uh, this guy jumped to the moon what is your family you're just living here alone you want to come home with me I guess that's a no. Nobody wants to live with me. I stink too much. Oh, what is Oh, that's a sunken ship right there. Let's go check out what's inside. Who knew a cookie can swim? But let's go check out what's inside. Some iron, some gold, some Emmys. Um, pretty poo. Not gonna lie. Uh, can't get up. Go, 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 go. Uh, anything else? And a buried treasure map. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I'm in the corner again. I. What does it mean when you're in the corner of the map? You're definitely too far away, but like, how do you get it to work normally? I don't get it. Whoa. That is a lot of dolphins right there. Okay, I get distracted way too easily all right let's try to find some more cows what am i doing and i did not think to make myself a boat what i'm brain dead my brain is fried like my brain is already small like normally on a normal day but today it's non-existent aha there's all the cows 360 uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah give me that meat 320 uh, 140 6262 i'm just saying random numbers at this point wait you could kill horses for leather oh i've been running past like all these different horses oh my god that's a whole family a squid get back in there what are they doing in this little pond these boys need a map they're lost even that meat though they didn't even drop me anything i hate the sound of killing horses it's so sad as i kill more horses all right but let's kill all these remaining cows here and head back home because the sun is setting and i think i should have almost enough come here i should have enough leather oh i'm i only have a 34 that is not a lot but i'm gonna kill all these cows and head back home and sleep before all the mobs come out oh we found an abandoned nether portal what's inside this chest here fortune three shovel pretty poo some obsidian that would help for my enchantment table so i wouldn't have to go find some obsidian there's some gold here and i think i'm gonna mine some of this obsidian here so i can make an enchantment table because i'm too lazy to go underground and find some so this is actually perfect oh i found some gold what the heck that was actually perfect i didn't know there was gold down there is there more gold under here is this is gold hiding for me now i did not know that look at look at my oh that's not my house hey look at my place from the distance it looks pretty good oh finally made it back home and it's pretty much nighttime already so let's jump into here hopefully there's no creeper inside my house and let's sleep Ugh, nice stretch good morning all right my sugarcane has not grown but i did manage to get a whole stack of sugarcane here while all these skeletons trample over my crops what, what are you guys gonna do huh i just need to look at you guys and you die just like that hey buddy what do you have to trade you have 
have um slime ball that's not too bad i will take some slime balls just kidding i already have a pair of my own <laughs> yo get out of my farm brother get out of my farm yo if you guys trample one piece of crop hey man get out get out get your bum out of here yeah yeah listen up yeah brother oh my he trampled one all right that's a death penalty that's what you get broke my diamond axe i'm beating them with a shovel i guess oh they dropped leather it was actually worth it all right but let's go ahead here and plant the remaining sugarcane all throughout this coast right here circle all around this get back in the water oh my god i actually have a lot of sugarcane this is going all the way around this entire like island and there we go nice all right but i have all the sugarcane planted now and now i just gotta wait for them to grow all right so let's build up here make a little tower and bam bam and let's watch the sugarcane grow Bro, this is gonna be fun yeah this is not that fun i thought i thought they would grow faster okay change of plans i'm not waiting i did get a lot of food though oh i have leather in here oh i'm chilling 54 leather that should be good i think oh we got four we got four more leather in here i didn't even have to go out i just wasted like two hours of my life nah, i'm just kidding that was fun though killing all those cows get revenge on my girlfriend but since my diamond axe broke let's make another one and while i wait for the shuriken to grow i'm gonna make myself a little mine shaft that will lead me into like a strip mine or something i don't think i've ever even stripped mine yet so let's pick a spot to make make a little mine shaft and i want to make it fancy obviously because like if you couldn't tell already i make everything quite fancy i made the crane i made the windmill and i made my house and they're all pretty fancy for pretty much no use it's fun being creative i'm not saying that i'm creative i'm pretty uh pretty dumb but let's stop making fun of myself <laughs> and let's start uh working on a little pathway to a mine shaft so i think i'm gonna do it right over here all right i made myself a little pathway here and i think i'm gonna branch off at least over here or over here into this little cave and make a mine but that's for another day because the sun is setting again every time i look at the sun i think of like you know teletubbies that creepy little baby in the sun yeah I, I don't know why i think of that i'm probably the oldest one here and i'm thinking about the teletubby sun face i question myself every day what is the purpose of life anyways back to making my mine shaft on minecraft oh man all right i think i'm gonna make the mine shaft right over here and there'll be basically two different ways there'll be a way down straight down a and there'll be basically two different ways to go. There will, and there will basically be a, and there will basically be, and there will basically be two different ways to go. There will be a staircase down to a strip mine, and there will be like a spiral staircase that spins around here that leads you into this cave. I think that is a pretty cool way to like add the both together. So let's start working on the design. All right, let's add some spruce logs right here. Let's strip it down because strip logs look so much better. And that is my quick little entrance into the mine shaft. Let's add some fences here so it looks like it could be gated off like a gold mine or something. Something. and i think i'm gonna add some lanterns because it adds to the cool little like effect you know what i mean i'm sure no one knows what i mean i'm just talking to myself basically and there we go that's basically what it's gonna look like here all right but let's continue building the mine shaft all right so now i have two entrances here inside the little mine shaft thing and this one will like circle around have a spiral staircase into the cave and this one over here will just go straight down and turn into a strip mine that is the plan so let's uh, start working on the way into the cave and now i have to work on a spiral staircase which is literally the hardest thing in minecraft and i literally suck at it but let's try my best here so let's make it spiral right here mine out this area all right and this is the spiral staircase that i got it's it's uh it's, it's decent i mean it's not the best in the world but it's it's something i guess everything is something if you really think about it oh i'm not even funny what am i doing all right this is the spiral staircase i got it's pretty poo but it, it will do it will do All right, I've been mining for quite a bit, and this is taking a really long time to mine this huge like staircase because it's three blocks wide and like five blocks high, all the way down to Y13 to mine diamonds for a strip mine. But uh, all right, I finally mined down to Y13, which is the best spot for diamonds, and I should probably light up all of this so no mobs will spawn here and blow up the cave. Cave? What? This is a staircase. Wait, that, this is actually a bad spot to put it. I gotta put it up here. All right, now let's put some staircases that will lead me all the way down to the mine shaft and make it all fancy. And I'm gonna run out of wood soon, so I'm gonna have to. Go just ran out of wood so i'm gonna quickly go mine some more spruce logs this spruce forest is gonna be gone in a matter of minutes i keep building too many projects i'll replant it all back soon don't worry okay, oh my god where are all these mobs coming from all right i got three stacks of spruce logs let's turn into planks and make some more stairs and hopefully this is enough stairs to go all the way down so let's get building 
and there we go we are at y13 with 53 stairs left this is so much easier now whenever everyone makes normal mine shafts they just make it blocks they don't put stairs so it's so annoying jumping up every single block with stairs it makes it so much easier but now the challenging part is replacing all of these blocks and turn it into a special fancy like wood wall and that's gonna be a lot of wood so i'm not sure if i'm uh, willing to do that yet all right but anyways the good news is i have a little staircase into the cave here and a staircase all the way into my new strip mine so now let's go take a look at my sugarcane farm by the looks of it it looks like all of the sugarcane has fully grown so let's harvest all of this and that brought back two stacks and 28 sugarcane i honestly thought he'll bring back more bruh this chicken just leaving his litter everywhere come on man just leaving your poo everywhere like that this is a nice civilization and you're just pooping all over my lawn and you walk away okay all right, but here we go. Let's turn this into paper and see how much paper I get. Two stacks, 28, literally. Oh, I didn't even know it's one to one. And let's grab my leather right here and let's make some books. How do we make a book here? Just like that. 28 books. All right, now let's grab some wood. How many bookshelves can I actually make with all these books? Only nine. That's not too bad. I just need to wait for more of the sugar cane to finally grow. But luckily, I do have enough leather. Oh, wait, I actually have books in here from stealing it from villages. So let's make some more. I can make five more. Okay, now I have 14 bookshelves. That might be be perfect for a level 30 enchantment table and now let's pick a random spot to put the enchantment table i want it somewhere fancy i might throw it over here in this area and then i'll make like a big mob farm right beside it i just don't want it to be in my house or it'll just be too boring i want everything to have their own separate home you know what i mean i'm just, I'm just weird like that i guess <laughs> but let's make the pathway down to the enchantment table whoa 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 back away back off got another diamond sword on him i got ptsd from my last episode when the zombie with the sword almost killed me in the mines but anyways i have the little area built out right here and let's put the enchantment table down right here just like that and let's place it down as level 30 level 24 we're almost there put one there and one there i guess 28 we're almost there we just need a little bit more sugar cane whoa whoa, whoa. there's the first ever phantoms in this world what the heck i've never gotten phantoms yet okay i'm going to bed i do not like phantoms go 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 go, go. all right i have my trusty old enchantment table now let's harvest my sugar cane once again and let's make some more books bam that's all the leather i got let's make two more bookshelves here and place them down for level 30 that should be level 30 perfect we finally got enchantments guys let's go i can enchant all of my armor and all my tools and go mining real quick all right let's grab some lapis lazuli does anyone ever say the real name of lapis everyone just says lapis the second word just canceled though hashtag cancel lazuli lazuli <laughs> ratatouille anyways let's enchant my diamond pickaxe here that oh silk touch and please oh efficiency four as well no unbreaking three but we finally got enchantments guys we're making a lot of progress okay i totally forgot what i was doing Doing. I had to help my parents move some sinks and some uh, toilets downstairs because they're building a bathroom down there. So I totally forgot where I left off. But since I got this pickaxe enchanted, I think I'm gonna go mining here. So let's put away all of my stuff, grab some more food, a whole stack of potatoes. Let's go. And let's enchant my diamond chest plate. Let's see what I get. Maybe some protection four. I'm breaking three, please. Protection four, protection three. That's not too bad. Let's head down into my awesome mine shaft that isn't even finished yet. And let's just start strip mining here. And luckily, I have silk touch on my pickaxe. So getting stone is gonna be so awesome awesome i can easily turn into stone bricks and finish off this wall right here to hide all of this ugly granite and diorite the blocks that nobody likes if you guys like diorite I, you guys might have to unsubscribe no, i'm just kidding don't unsubscribe but uh you guys need to question your sanity because this block is hideous kind of like my face but um yeah let's just keep mining and so far the only thing i got is iron and some redstone <laughs> luckily though i get a silk touch and later i can get a fortune three and i'll be able to get a lot of materials from this especially the new iron ore because you can fortune iron now and get a whole bunch of iron and honestly strip mining probably isn't the best idea right now i should probably stick to caving right now to find some diamonds so i'm gonna run back up here and go down my cave part of the mine shaft and let's just go explore all of the caves to try to find some diamonds around and this is literally the deadest cave ever oh it goes up here oh and there's a creeper waiting for me of course i did end up finding some uh, lapis right here so let's try to do the trick so let's go one two three four. Oh wait what the i just ran to out hello what is that what are the chances of that i just ran to amethyst shrinely thingy little bubble of it what i was just trying to do the little glitch to find some diamonds and i dug right into this killing two birds with one stone getting diamonds and amethyst block but let's see let's see if it works and it didn't work yeah i think i'm a little too low so there's no diamonds around here but there are amethyst blocks which i am not complaining about i'm actually really happy i found this because i was running out so let's oh i have silk touch too hold on hold, give me this oh let's go i got the amethyst clusters now i don't know what, I, don't really, I don't really know what it does to be honest maybe you can grow them like crops i forgot i have silk touch 
I can still touch all of this now. So let's get all of the crystals first. Get them out of the way. All right, I got all of the crystals out of the way. Oh, not this one. This little baby one. And now let's mine the remaining amethyst blocks. Okay, this is taking a little too long to mine, to be honest. Only mined like a little section. And I got like three, four stacks. How are all these shards growing again? I just mined them all. Hello? Unless I'm blind and I skipped them. Do they just grow randomly out of the blocks? Okay, but anyways, let's continue the search for diamonds. Oh my god. I almost fell right there. Okay, I haven't found diamonds yet. I have been collecting a lot of different ores around the cave, though. Oh, there's lapis right here. This might lead me to diamonds. One, two, three, four. Oh, the skeleton. Oh, wait, go, wait. Uh, uh. Oh, there's a lot. Of, oh, there's a lot of lapis down here. This might oh, there's literally caver oh yes we found some more diamonds guys well this is actually my first ever diamonds this whole trip okay let's collect this up nice we got diamond ore maybe there's more diamonds in here i do not see any but i cannot wait to get fortune though because these diamond ores will be really helpful fortune three okay no diamonds here let's keep exploring Ooh, another lava pit maybe there's some dot Nope, it's literally nothing. Oh, what is this? This is a ravine? Oh, hello. That came out of nowhere. Okay. Oh, I'm in a big ravine now. I don't think I've ever been in here yet. So there might be some special stuff in here. Some gold. And that's about it. Nice. That's as special as it gets. Okay, let's do some uh, parkour right here. Reminds me of like American Ninja. Ow! Okay, that doesn't. Oh my God, where are all these zombies come from i'm gonna jump over you guys here let's go back into the cave oh it actually worked i just collected some lapis right here i mine four blocks north then mine down and guess what i found some diamonds let's go it's actually such an op trick i love 1.17 it's actually free diamonds all you have to do is like run around the caves to find some lapis and you're set lapis right here maybe there's even more diamonds here so one two three four and mine straight down it probably won't be because yeah oh yeah because i mine diamonds right here that was my first set of diamonds so yeah it would have worked but the cave already led me to it so let's actually go find some more lapis that's how you find diamonds all right i found some more lapis let's go north four blocks one two yes th oh, what the okay i think <laughs> i didn't even have to mine down i just ran right into diamonds i'm telling you guys once you find lapis just mine north and down you just find so many diamonds let's go all right more lapis <laughs> let's see if it works again two three four and let's mine down oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's such a cheat code. It's just free diamonds, guys. Oh my god. I'm gonna have so many diamonds by the end of this video. I might try to set a world record on how many diamonds I can get in one episode. I want to get like at least five stacks or something. This is gonna be a grind. I, I'm kind of excited now to see how many diamonds I can get. My pickaxe is getting very low durability, though. I don't have unbreaking three on this. Oh, what the? I found an axolotl right here. Look at him. I feel so bad. He's stuck in a little puddle. He can't go anywhere else. He has no idea what the ocean really is. If he's been swimming in here his whole life, I feel kind of. Oh, it's on land too. Oh, he's still moving the same speed on land. I thought axolotls go super slow on it. I might have to save him, guys. Actually, I don't have any wood for a crafting table or a furnace. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to leave you here. But there is more lapis, which is more important than a dying axolotl, right? Same trick. Face north. Let's try to find some more diamonds. Oh, yes. <laughs> diamonds is turning into like iron ore now. You just, I just see it so often from this little trick. Thank you, lapis. I love you. Oh, I found a mob spawn. Oh, it's spider. Okay, no, I'm mining that away. I do not like spiders. Usually they have two chests. Why well, is only one? I got a name tag and a golden apple. I probably will just leave it in there. All right, I am back home finally, and I ended up repairing my pickaxe because it was just about to break, but I ended up only getting 31 diamond ore. I mean, only 31. I mean, if I fortune through this, I might get like two stacks maybe, which is a lot of diamonds. And I got some other miscellaneous stuff that uh, do not matter that much. But let's put all of this stuff away here, and I will kind of want to go back mining to find even more diamonds. Oh, I even have deep slate diamond ore. Never mind. I got 40 diamond ore in total, but I just don't think that is enough for me so i'm gonna go continue mining i want to have like a whole row of diamonds so i never have to mine again so let's go back into the caves I attacked by a spider that was knocked me into lava there's actually more diamonds over here somehow but uh i ain't complaining all right i finally made it out of the caves which took a pretty long time that was at least a whole entire day of mining that was that was pretty brutal for my brain my brain is fried right now but i ended up getting a lot more diamond ore but anyways let's put all this stuff away and let's figure out how much diamonds i have in total all right and it turns out i just have one stack and one diamond ore plus 20 deep slate ore so in total i have a quick math 80 85 diamond ore i mined 85 diamond ore i mean that was a whole entire day of mining like a real life day so that doesn't seem like a lot anymore but anyways i only have two diamonds left so let's mine this one here to make a brand new pickaxe oh wait this is so touch oh boy okay, i need a regular iron pickaxe to mine this let's make ourselves a diamond pickaxe here a regular one and let's try to get fortune three on this and let's make a grindstone just in case i don't get fortune i think that's how you make it just like that perfect and let's 
slap it right here all right please give me fortune three i'm breaking three okay please get fortune on it come on come on come on oh i got fortune two that isn't that bad there is unbreaking and efficiency on there so that's not too bad but i really want fortune three do i dare make another diamond pickaxe hold on a second let's try to enchant a book let's see if i get lucky enough to get fortune two on a book that way i can just combine it with this fortune two pickaxe so let's put this bad boy in there power four protection two okay no luck here do i risk it guys i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna disenchant this even though it's pretty decent i want the perfect one. Oh, there we go fortune three we got fortune three i knew i should have done it okay i need level 30 let's pray this enchantment doesn't go away i knew i would get it okay now i just need to get two levels somehow hey yo buddy yo buddy well, yo william you got any uh you got any levels to spare brother i just need two levels do you know where i can get some could you at least answer me? I guess not. I guess I'll find my own levels. All right. I guess I'll take some redstone ore here and some lapis ore and just mine this for levels. So I'm going to place them all over my dock here and let's mine it all up. Oh, wait. I forgot. I have still touched my pickaxe. All right. Let's use a regular iron pickaxe. Holy cow. This is slow. This is peasant speed. Why is the iron pickaxe so slow compared to efficiency four diamond? I cannot go back to this. This is way too slow. All right. But let's mine this all up and hope to get level 30. Okay. I'm almost halfway there to level 30. I still need to mine some more. So I do have some more lapis i want to save my diamonds i guess i'll mine some coal let's slap this all down here and continue mining all right and here we are level 30 right, let's run all the way back there please still have fortune three come on come on because i remember on my one block i lost my mending villager and it kind of hurt me so let's pray fortune three let's go efficiency four though but no unbreaking it kind of sucks that there's no unbreaking on it but it wouldn't be too hard to get an unbreaking three book all right this is the moment you guys have all been waiting for let's place down all of these diamonds here and mine it with my fortune three pickaxe let's see how many diamonds i get from all of this mining this took me an entire day like eight hours of mining in real life <laughs> that was some dedication let's place all of these iron ores down that looks like a lot more diamonds than i thought i mined holy cow that is a lot of diamonds look how beautiful this looks this is literally the most beautiful looking ore ever the bright blue diamonds let me take a quick microscopic view of it Jeez. All right, if you guys can guess how many diamonds I exactly get in the comments, I'm going to heart your comment and reply to your comment. So comment down below the exact number of diamonds you think I will get from all of these diamond ores with Fortune 3. Let's pull it out, Fortune 3. Make sure I have it on me and let's start mining. Let's see how many diamonds I get. Oh, this is a beautiful sound. This is one beautiful sound. But make sure you comment down below your guess. And right after this montage, we will find out. No cheating, guys. Let's go. And that is the last diamond ore. That was eight hours of mining. And mining all those diamond ores took me 30 seconds. Anyways, my guess was around three stacks. So let's take a look. This is the reveal. I got... Oh, I was kind of close. I got two stacks and 52 diamonds. <laughs> oh my god. I'm balling. I originally had like two diamonds in here. Now I have three stacks. Who, who said I was poor? I want to go back to the old comments making fun of me for being poor and not having diamond armor and show them this. I'm balling now. All right, let's throw away this peasant armor the iron boots and helmet and let's replace it with diamonds there we go we are decked out in full diamond guys and let's stash the diamonds away in my safe spot there we go there are all of the diamonds i've mined all right but the main point of the entire video was for me to find diamonds and mine them which i already did so i'm guessing a lot of you guys will leave the video and watch something else but all the true fans will stay so comment down below if you guys are staying just so i know who the true fans really are but anyways to finish off this episode i'm gonna complete the build of this mine i'm gonna make the entrance fan see i might add like a little tower thingy right here add some leaves obviously and just make it look a little prettier especially this part this part is uh kind of hideous it looks like my forehead it's just disgusting but um yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a little pathway down here but i'm gonna make it look a little fancier that goes down here into the caves and i'm just gonna spice it up a little bit so let's go grab some materials actually first things first on the realist i'm gonna go to sleep i think that's a lyric what's that from let's grab all of my materials here spruce logs all that stuff um that stuff that stuff and with all of these materials I'm gonna fancy up this strip mine right here. So I'm gonna break down both walls here and make a cool little design all the way down, which might take a while, but it'll be worth it for you guys. So let's start working. Let's mine out this little area first and let's line it up with some logs here. Let's strip them all. All right, how does that look? Not too bad. And let's add some fences all the way around. 
Let me try something else, though. I think we're all gonna like the next idea more. Let's try some leaves. Oh, that looks pretty good, I think. Honestly, I might go back to the fences and add leaves behind it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. That's the first time I chose anything over leaves, but I think I can make it look a little better. So let's add the fences back. And instead, I'm gonna add the leaves behind the fences. I think this will look a little better. All right, let's see if it does. Oh, yeah, I, I think it looks better like that. What do you guys think? I think I like it more like this. But anyways, let's start working on the actual mine shaft because this part will take a while. So let's start digging out this entire entire wall all the way down to y13 oh uh, you're bothering me oh what hello huh what just hit me was it that arrow i'm so confused oh man this is taking a while just to mine this wall though i still got this wall to go oh boy this is gonna be a while let's keep going All right, that took a while, but I completed destroying the entire wall or both walls, actually. And now it's time for the ceiling. This, this is actually like mind boggling boring. Not gonna lie, but I'm sure the edit's gonna make it more interesting. All you need is some catchy music and uh, three seconds of your time. But for me, it's like five minutes. <laughs> And there we go. I mined all of it out. Now let's come up with a cool little design for this. I don't really know what to do really, but uh, I'll figure something out. All right. I added a little staircase of stone here and I think I'm going to put some water here just like that. And that will be the design all the way down. It's kind of simple just having a big water stream, but it adds some color. And I think I'm going to put some leaves on the walls because leaves just look so good. Come on, guys. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Look at all those blocks jump around <laughs> just hopping around down the water stream. And the water is going to end right here. I think that's a pretty cool design right here. That means you gotta mine out a whole nother wall, though. Oh my lord, this is gonna take a while. All right, I'm dedicated, guys. I must come up with the best design. So let's mine out another wall right here. I have to go 100% or it isn't a cookie build. So let's mine out another layer. And there we go. I finally my oh, where'd you come from? How are these guys spawning? I literally have torches everywhere. I finally mined out three layers deep. That took a pretty long time. Oh man. All right, but let me show you guys my design plan really quickly here. So there will be oak logs back here just like this and over here on this layer will be leaves the layer back there is kind of useless it's just gonna be all wood but it looks a lot better than having it hollow and empty if you look right through the leaves you will see the nasty dirt and stone and like coal back there which doesn't look too nice so i'm gonna take it upon myself to add wood all behind the leaves just for the little touch of detail so let's fill this whole place up with some oak wood where, where did these guys come from why are they shooting their spit at me oh wait what does he have to trade though and uh, nothing good yep you deserve not to be here all right let's continue building all right i already ran out of oak wood and i'm i'm not even close to being finished so i'm gonna grab some lapis and enchant my diamond axe and hopefully i'll get efficiency four so it'll be much easier to get some wood let's go over to my enchantment table that i made let's throw it in there efficiency four let's go and i'm breaking three that is exactly what i was looking for perfect and i'm also gonna make some shears because i'm gonna need a lot of leaves as well so let's make five shears let's actually go to bed first and head over to the oak forest to chop down all of these trees trees i also got a whole nother stack of potatoes because i already ate through my entire stack for the episode and i'm just a hungry guy i'm gonna be out here for a while collecting leaves leaf montage and this should be plenty of leaves. I always think this should be enough for like the entire series, but I always end up using too many leaves. What a surprise. And now let's start chopping down the trees. Chopping down my wood. Just kidding. I wish it was that long. All right, and just like that, I got my whole inventory is full of leaves and wood. I just stole everything from nature. Feels bad, man. But it's for a good cause because I'm going to be using it on my strip mine design. See how worth it is? Oh, man, that's not even worth it. All right, let's keep building here with all the new materials I collected. All right, I finished one wall with oak wood. It's actually less oak wood than I thought it would take, which is good because I'll have a lot of wood left. But now let's start working on this wall. Yo, 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 why is this on fire? Hello? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 chill. What the heck? What is burning this hello no yo, yo yo my my heart earned wood huh what just happened did, did that bat catch us on fire or is there lava somewhere here oh my god that's why there's lava right there i was like so confused i'm so lucky i caught that or else the whole thing would have been burned down imagine i fill up this wall i turn around and everything's gone like no sign of fire it's just gone like it disappeared i would have been so confused okay let's turn this all into obsidian here just like that hopefully oh my god there's lava everywhere okay, let's remove all this lava here hopefully that'll be far enough to where the wood won't burn anymore let's give it a try 
cry. That actually scared me a little bit. I thought the devil was here or something. All right, let's wait a couple minutes and see if it catches on fire. But in the meantime, I'm gonna continue building this side of the wall. Okay, it's been a couple minutes and it hasn't burned down yet, which is good. But I'm almost finished building this side of the wall. I just need this little middle layer to go and I will be done. All right, I finished both. Oh, oh it's on fire. It's actually on fire. What? Oh my God. It was not on fire for like the past five minutes. Why does it turn? Why does it get on fire now? Okay, it's all burning. Oh no, it's not good. Get it all out. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something about this fire down here. What can I do? I just cover all this up. If I need to mine this, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Oh, it's not too bad with my uh, diamond pickaxe. So it's pretty fast. So let's mine one layer out and turn the bottom layer into obsidian. All right, there we go. I mined out a whole layer of obsidian, which was 20 pieces. It took a little bit. Now there's no chance the wood will burn. If it does burn, I'm gonna be kind of upset. But so far, it's not looking too bad. I'm not sure why I'm putting so much effort into a mine shaft, to be honest. I still have this whole entire entrance to work on. Oh, man. All right, let's quit complaining and start building. Let's fill this all up with leaves here. All right, I added the leaves in. I'm gonna leave a little gap of wood just so I can actually see the wood. So it's not completely useless that I added an entire oak wall behind it. Now for the other side. There we go. All the leaves are in. And now let's come up with a design for the ceiling. I don't really know what to put there. I'm, I'm just thinking like spruce wood and that's it. I don't really have any other plans. Um, Let's put a couple blocks here and see how it looks. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's just go with spruce wood. All right, there we go. It's finally done. That took so long, but it's looking pretty good. Now let's grab the water buckets and at the finishing touch i'll go all the way down here oh let's race it go 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 oh i'm smoking that thing and luckily no fires are starting if it starts really late and burns this entire thing down i'm gonna be pretty upset because everything is burnable the leaves the wood the ceiling everything but the water has finally come down and there we go there's my mine shaft i got the lights in eventually i'm gonna go to the nether and get some glowstone so i can put some ceiling lights or something but this is my mine shaft that was a really fat effort mine shaft right there <laughs> that took a really long time Oh, we got an escapee. How did this iron golem get out? Hey, man, go back to your village. Protect your boys. Yeah, thanks for listening. All right, but after building that, I might need a break. Let's go uh, take a 20-minute break, guys. Everybody get some water, refill your snacks, drink some water, stay hydrated, and I'll be back in 10 minutes. Well, for you, it'll be one jump cut. All right, I am back, and I think I came up with my plan and the design for the mine. I'm gonna add like a little wheel here and a bigger wheel here, and it'll be like a spinny thingy, bang, bang. There'll be a tower right there, and I'll add like a statue right here. So let's make a big tower right here. I'm not sure how tall I should make this i think i'm gonna end it right there jump over here <laughs> oh my god i'm at two and a half hearts i need to stop playing around in hardcore mode it's not a good idea okay that should be tall enough let's add some lights up here and i want to be a little fancy and add some trap doors right here and a sign right there and i'm gonna strip all of these logs which might take a while because i'm i should have done that earlier to be honest that would have made my life a lot easier all right let's build another tower up here let's just strip all these logs while i can all right there we go we made the little tower i think i'm gonna add like a little crane that holds a little weight of coal or or maybe some diamonds or maybe some redstone ore right here to showcase that it's a mine and i'm gonna work on the statue and that'll be it but let's add some reinforcement type of design right here so i think i'm gonna use some stairs like this and i'm gonna use some slabs to go all the way across just like this there we go. And I'm going to crisscross it all the way up. Just like that. It's not too bad. It's going to crisscross all the way up here. So let's finish it up and see what it looks like. And perfect. I actually built it perfectly. All right, let's make a safe way down. Ugh, oh, my ankles. Now let's take a look. Ooh, that's not too bad. And now we just got to do the same thing on the other side. And there we go. There's a little tower. I'm not sure what it does, but it looks kind of fancy. But once I add the little crane, it'll look a lot better. So I'm going to make the crane go right through here like that. Bam. And I'm going to make like a big box right here. Here. so it looks like it's holding a huge weight on this end and i'm gonna use some stairs to smooth out the rock thingy here you guys will see what i mean in a second all right and we got the little platform for all of the ores so let's go back into my chest room and try to grab some ores to place down in there let's grab some lapis some coal ore some gold some iron and might as well go crazy and make a diamond block let's go and let's spread it around this little platform here so i definitely want to put the diamond block visible from the front like that I'll add some iron gold block there I'll add another gold block maybe right here that's not too bad that's pretty awesome actually it actually shows like it's a mine i'm pretty impressed with myself it looks pretty good all right and now let's start working on the little statue that 
that'll go right in front of the mines as well i was gonna originally put it right here but that will block my crane so i think i'm gonna put it um actually i don't even know where i'm gonna put it <laughs> i think i'm just put it on the other side right over here where there's space all right here's the platform where the statue will go all right just like that and this is where the statue will stand actually i have a silk touch pickaxe so let's grab some grass right here nice it's actually so nice having a silk touch and now let's replace some spots with some grass blocks so it could spread and that will be the foundation on where the statue will stand now let's start working on the statue guy i think he's gonna like hold a log over his shoulders which would be like some weight and just show that he's like working or something like just like how the mines would be oh there's a zombified villager right here hopefully that isn't from my village oh there's another one. Oh, that's a normal zombie okay but this is the legs i got the legs so far maybe i should add some stairs here like that to show some curve Ooh, that's not too bad let's start working on the torso And there we go. We got the statue built. It looks pretty good. I basically just copied off Google, but I'm going to pretend that I built it myself. <laughs> but I think I'm going to add some anvils here, like the Google image, just to make it look like he's carrying something super heavy. So let's go use up all of my iron for that. I don't think I have enough iron, so I'm going to smelt the remaining that I have right here. There we go. All right, let's make two anvils that used up a lot of my iron. It's kind of sad because in my one block world, I have that insane iron farm and it's just free iron. Over here, I'm struggling. I, got, I literally got no iron, but I do have string so that will hold up the anvils i think that's a little building trick that i learned like back in 2012 when i used to build a lot go wait you're bothering my video oh. all right so you place a block down like that put some string down leave it there and throw the anvil down and just like that you have a floating anvil same thing on the other side string break that and anvil and there we go we got the statue that is basically done should i add the mine text right here hmm i think i should just to add the final touch a big sign that says mine I would use quartz, but I don't have any. I haven't went to the nether yet, which is a pretty big surprise. So I collected a whole bunch of diorite from my chest. And I think I'm going to use this because it's just as close as quartz. It's just a little uglier, a little dark spots around. But hey, it matches the mines, I think. Make it a little dirty. So I'm going to build it on top of this little entrance here. It's kind of hard to find a spot, though, because there's a lot of stuff going on. There's the crane here and this part here. So I'm going to have to make it just in front of the crane. All right, here's a little design I made that will hold the support beams and i think i'm gonna use some walls like that and now i'm gonna put fences up here and this will hold the sign up okay that should be tall enough i think and now let's actually make the sign portion i'm not sure how big it needs to be though to be honest all right so each letter will be three by three so it'll be three blocks long so the sign will be this big so now let's start working on the sign here we go oh Oh, I need to stop messing around and falling off. I'm going to die one of these days. All right, now let's start working on the letters, which is going to be kind of hard. I'm not that good with letters in Minecraft. Let's make the M, make the I like that, I think will work. Make an N and make an E. Bam, bam, bam. And I think that will work. Let's mine down here and get the final reveal of the entire mine entrance completed. Turn around. Oh, that's looking pretty hot guys it's looking pretty hot i think i messed up a little bit over there though it's a one block too long but the sign looks pretty awesome we got the statue in holding the two anvils we got the little tower with the crane holding some ores and the diamond block you walk into here and this is the strip mine with all the leaves the blocks and the waterfall and i didn't really build this part yet i'll do that another episode <laughs> all right but that was a pretty big project i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you guys so much for watching to the end please subscribe if you guys are new please like the video it helped me with the youtube algorithm them. And I'll see you guys on the next episode next Saturday. Peace out, boys and girls. Oh, wait, I totally forgot. If you guys are still here, I forgot to add my leaves. But now, since you're the true fan, you guys can watch me put the leaves down. And after like an hour, I'm finally done. Adding leaves is a lot harder than you think because adding like these little ones, you got to like build up and put these everywhere. Like especially those ones, it's so much effort. But there we go. There's the mines. It looks so much better with leaves. It looks like it's overgrown and just like old, but also new. The statue is like overgrown with leaves taken over by the nature. It looks amazing, guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking around. You guys are the real ones. Comment down below. I love cookies if you guys made it to the very end and I'll know who the real ones are. Anyways, peace out, guys. For real this time.